This Formica Fusca Black Ant Queen has given birth to her first brood. While the workers established their new territory in the earth, above ground, a nearby colony of Formica Sanguinea slave maker ants are on the lookout for would-be victims. These ants specialize in stealing larvae from neighboring nests and raising them as their own. If the Black Ant Colony isn't prepared for the inevitable incursion, they may be wiped out entirely. Unfortunately, the queen shows her colony's home poorly. This earth is infested with Grillatalpa grillatalpa, the European mole cricket. Growing up to 45 millimeters in length and with powerful forelegs, these beasts are masters of tunneling. The crickets have had their fill of roots for the day and are now on the hunt for protein-rich invertebrates. This queen and her brood are in imminent danger of being devoured. Segestria florentina, a funnel-web spider. She is large, fast, and equipped with a deep, powerful bite. Her lair is carpeted by sheets of silk woven between tripwires that radiate out from the entrance. She can detect even the slightest vibrations with her sensitive legs. Any ant that strays too close will be snapped away in the blink of an eye. A Sanguinea scout has sensed the presence of the Black Ants. A raid on the colony is now inevitable. The question remains as to whether they will merely pillage a generation of young, or wipe out the colony entirely. In the end, it will come down to the tenacity of the defending ants. By working together, the ants have overwhelmed one of the funnel web spiders. She won't be causing any more trouble for the colony. Her sisters, however, still present a problem. There are intruders in the nest. A mole cricket is burrowing into the nest. The ants must mount a defense quickly, or their brood will be forfeit. The raiding party has arrived. The slave makers will head straight for the brood chambers. They must be stopped. The raiding party is left, 
and with them they have taken 10% of the black ant brood. The Fusca colony must replenish quickly if they are to survive the next assault. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. There are intruders in the nest. The slave makers are back. They can sense larvae, and they want their share. The raiding party is left, and with them they have taken 10% of the black ant brood. The danger may be gone for now, but this truce is merely a formality. The Sanguini are already planning their next onslaught. The Sanguinia colony seeks once again to bolster its numbers. A battalion of slave makers charge into the nest. Mole crickets are burrowing into the nest. The ants must defend in multiple locations at once. The raiding party is left, and with them they have taken 10% of the black ant brood. The queen must lay quickly to return the colony to its former strength. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. There is no respite from the culling. The Sanguinia will subjugate or exterminate. The raiding party is left, 
and with them they have taken 10% of the Black Ant Brood. It is only a matter of time before they return. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. The Sanguinea colony seeks once again to bolster its numbers. A battalion of slave makers charge into the nest. A mole cricket is burrowing into the nest. The ants must mount a defense quickly, or their brood will be forfeit. The raiding party is left, and with them they have taken 10% of the black ant brood. There are intruders in the nest. The slave makers are back. They can sense larvae, and they want their share. Once again, the slave makers return to their nest with new black ant larvae to raise as their own. The raids will continue, but this Formica Fusca colony has proved its capacity to endure and grow. Eventually, they will surpass their parasitic overseers, and the continued raids of the slave makers will reduce to nothing more than a mere inconvenience for the great black ant empire. <laughs>